We still haven't found what we were looking for. I thought you'd be in there, but there's no um, marker. Ah, oh, she's dead already. Whoa! I had some fearsome mighty spells there. Yep, the poor one. Somebody went to the cave. Turn. Travofi and I started toward Orsinium, but we hoped you'd find us on the road. Were you successful? Have you changed our ill fate to good fortune? My heart plummets at the news you bring, and all the light departs from my sky. I will take the Orsinium permit of trade, though. I do not know if I can do this without my Jalare, but I won't let her dream die, too. Thank you. I am sorry for Jalare's loss. I cannot replace her in Namadine's eyes. But thanks to you, our business and livelihood can continue. We'll mourn. And then we'll make our way to Orsinium. I hope you visit our shop one day. <coughs> That's the thing, they always say that, and I wish you actually can do stuff like that. Uh, sometimes you can visit certain people, but not always. Alright. Here you are, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, finally, to Obsidian. Hello. Now, let's pull out here. So like any main city, we have our Outlaws Refuge. But unlike uh, most of them, there's no outer... Well, I guess I have an outer one, I guess. Hard to get to from... With, from uh, the way shine though, which is gonna be the most difficult part. So, uh here's where we need to go. 
Here's the Mages Guild. And of course the Fighters Guild. And within that there's the bank. And so I've got some food items here for people to trade with. The clothing station's over here. Here's our black state uh blacksmith station and the woodworking and the people that go with it. Here's uh another tavern or uh restaurant to eat. So much to do, so little time. Here are the guild traders and of course another little tavern and this is another place we have to go. This is where we're gonna, gonna go to sell off the uh, whistle. Um hmm. Good question. Where do we want to go first? Um, well, maybe we'll go saw the whistle first. Greetings. Now a lot of people still have the horses and their nightmare horses and what have you. But you know, when I'm sitting, it's like the orcs do. Right there. Oh, here's another guy at the quest. Ah, greetings, traveler. Hold a moment, won't you? I'm looking for a cave. It would be foul smelling, likely surrounded by scattered bones and such. Have you seen such a place? Ah, an inquisitive sort. I like it. I'm searching for a Nord Beastmaster named Nicolvara. My contacts tell me she possesses an enchanted whistle that can tame any creature in Tamriel. Marvelous, yes? Apparently she lives in a Durzog lair nearby. Excellent! I can't wait to try it out for myself. I uh, will be rich. Did you test it? How well did it work? <laughs> wow, well, we have our choice. We can tell them the truth or we can lie. You're joking, right? I spent my last gold piece getting to this three forsaken wasteland? <laughs> A pox on these orcs and their stupid beasts. I suppose you've earned your cut, such as it is. I'll need to find a new opportunity now. Sorry. I hate to lie to him. The orcs aren't all that excited about the Nord-run business inside the city walls, so they pushed us to the outskirts. Just as well. My customers like the quiet. <laughs> this one needs more drink. Much more. <laughs> Looking for work? If not, move along. I haven't got time for idle chit-chat. The market is the beating heart of the city. Our trade policies have brought wealth, yes, but there's no commerce without risk. Take this Khajiit Buraku. He peddles strange dwarven baubles. They seemed harmless enough, but now I'm not so sure. He says he uncovered some dwarf junk buried in the snow up north, and it led to something big. Nisja left, I think. Ooh. Ah, dwarf mischief. Investigate the machines and take care of this thing he discovered. He's over there if you want more details. All right. Don't hesitate to break those machines to pieces. This dwarven garbage is nothing but trouble. Make sure to speak to Buraku when you're done. 
He's anxious to close the book on this. The king's business. I serve the throne on matters of civic policy and urban development. When one of our citizens has a problem that threatens the public good, they come to me. Yes, exactly. This surprises you? Sending out the city guard is the Breton way, the high elf way. In Rothgar, we do for ourselves. I facilitate deals between private citizens, nothing more. We're all citizen soldiers. We should act like it. I've had a rough day, Outlander. Let me drink in peace, all right? My husband mingles with the guests while I run the shop. Typical. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we can get rid of. As always. I don't need that one either. Okay. I knew Rothgar was dangerous, but giant metal men too? It is too much. Who is wishing to know? It's not my fault, Walker. Berko only poked the machines with a stick. And then, oh, Talos, forgive me. No, Walker. The pain is still too near. This one needs more drink. Yes, another drink, and I will tell you my tale. Many thanks. <laughs> you look familiar. Have we met? <clears throat> Never mind. You paid for my drink, you get the tale. Berku and his friends came north in search of easy coin. This mm. one heard that in Hrothgar, valuable dwarf craft can be found everywhere. Dead, buried in snow and blood. We found it while we were looking for dwarf metal to salvage, you see. The dwarf machine, half buried. He popped it with a stick. And the ground shook like a jackashit's rattle. Berko thinks that's what woke it up. Mm. The huge metal man. Nischalet is its name. This one read about it in books. <laughs> it killed Berko's friends. Splashed their innards all over the snow. You must destroy it. This one's friends will still be dead. But maybe they will rest easier, yes? All right, so here we go. Okay, she don't want to talk. Oh, no one does, we'll be that way. Well, if you want to see anything with those people there. Too easy to get in trouble, you know? So we have a new quest. But first we need to go back into the city.